All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. so what we are going to do today is we are going to do a versus video between the brushless Hilti impact driver versus the Milwaukee Fuel brushless impact driver. Now both of these impact drivers are awesome so I do think that the Milwaukee M18 is going to win because in reality when it comes to impact drivers Milwaukee takes the cake. So this specific impact driver is unprecedented when it comes to comparing it to the other brands. Now the Hilti the new brushless uh, hammer drill beat the crap out of this Milwaukee, hands down. We are going to see how the impact drivers do against each other. Now, just based on my experience, I think the Milwaukee is going to win. But in this video, we are not going to use the high-end batteries for either tool. We are going to use the 2.6 amp hour for the Hilti and the 3 amp hour regular battery for the Milwaukee. Both of these brands have bigger batteries, but we're going to do another video in the future between the higher end batteries, but in this video, it's just gonna be between the 2.6 and the three. For those of you who think that my tools are too clean, this is why, because in, before I even start filming, I wipe these down and make sure that they look good, because if I don't clean these, people will say that one tool looks more used than the, than the other, and it's an unfair test. Alrighty, so first, let's start off with the Milwaukee. The model number for the Milwaukee is 2853-20. It is zero to 4,300 impacts per minute, and it is zero to 3,600 RPM. And yes, we are, like I said, we are using a three amp hour battery, though we're using the regular three amp hour battery. All right, so three speed settings, so sorry, four speed settings. They have screw, one, two, and three. We, we will be using uh, number three in this. Uh, quarter inch hex collet is the collet push in yes it is the collet is push in that's a huge feature to have for major convenience led light on the bottom and yeah th this this is a bad mamma jamma when it comes to the impact drivers and what blows people's minds is the size now when it comes to when it comes to this model people have major issues with the collet they people say all the time that the collet needs to be redesigned because the collet wears out very fast and it does not hold the bits which could be a dangerous situation because if you have something sharp if you have someone sharp in there and it slips out you could uh you could penetrate your uh your hand or whatever is around that while you have the force on there so that is the milwaukee of course it is fuel all right for the hilti the, for the, so the model number for this is SID4A22. It is a three speed selection, one, two, and three. It has a quad LED light on the front. Collet, quarter inch X collet is a collet push in. It is push in. And like I said, we will, we will be using a 2.6 amp hour battery. 2.6 and like I always say in these videos the unique feature for the Hilti batteries is to find out what the battery life is you just tap on, tap on the eject button to get it they don't have a uh, special designated button for that you just tap on that and you're good to go so I, I like that because it creates less there's less buttons to push so yeah so for speed one if this goes to uh, 0 to 1,000 RPM on speed 2, 0 to 1,500, and on speed 3, 0 to 2,700. does not say impacts per minute. I'll put that in right now. Along with the torque. And when it comes to the, the when it comes to this, uh, when it, all right, but let's, uh, let's see what these can do against each other. And remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. Since these are big boys, what we are gonna do is we are gonna do nothing but lags. 
Let's see how well these do with just big lag bolts. Alrighty, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna do four inch, six inch, eight inch. So yeah, we are gonna do four, six, and eight. Let's see how well these can perform with this. And this also is gonna be a good stress test for the Husky uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. And we are using Tech Life impact rated sockets. These things are powerful and strong that they survived so far. Alrighty, we will be doing Mil uh, Milwaukee first. Battery is full. Now remember, Milwaukee has a three amp hour battery and the uh, Hilti has a 2.6. amp hours off is not that big of a deal, so don't leave it in the comments saying that it's so unfair, yada, yada, yada. 0.4 amp hours is not that big of a difference all right so we are going to do the four inches first so battery is full speed three all right so ready go time not too bad at all that, that, I, that, that when it comes to impact drivers, that Milwaukee is seriously awesome. Like you, the, like no other company yet, yet has been able to like make one better than that, in my opinion. Battery is full. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time. That is the four inches. Let's go to the six inch, which will, I'm keeping them together. They're, they are gonna be on the same, the same ring. They're just gonna be in different spots. So but the six will always be next to the six. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. There we go. That's loud. That Milwaukee is loud as well. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Not too shabby at all. All right, let's go to the eight inches. All right, same thing. Up oh, the battery is at three bars. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, I messed up on that a little bit. Let's see if I can take it out. Alrighty, so that is the Milwaukee. Let's go to the Hilti. Got the eight inch right here. All right, so ready, go. Battery life on the 2.6 is at three bars, and the Milwaukee is at three bars as well. Alrighty, so let's do the 10 inch right here. All right, so ready, go. Able to 
to take that out, right? Yeah. Very good. That is the Milwaukee. All right, temperature so far. 102. Hundred and three degrees so far. The Milwaukee finished the task of driving them in. Okay, let's do this really quick. Two point six amp hour is at four bars still. Four bars. And this has less amp hours, and this has more battery life than the Milwaukee does. Right here is good. All right, so ready. Go. Ninety nine degrees. Ninety nine degrees. So the Hilti is actually running cooler at the during this point of the even though this had a chance to relax. Yeah, the same. 103 degrees for the Milwaukee. Alrighty, so all right, Milwaukee is going to take the four, six, and eight, and 10 out at once. I'm gonna uh, time them individually, but put them together in one timer. Battery is at three bars, and it is on speed three. So ready, go. Wow. Six inch. Time. Eight inch. And 10 inch. Wow. I'm surprised that that was even able to do it. Because last time I needed to use an impact wrench to take those out. All right, so Hilti's turn. Oh, the, the socket so far, 102 degrees for the socket. Oh, and the, the final temperature for the Milwaukee, I saw it right there. Where were you? 106 degrees for an average. Uh, there was one point on there, one position where it was 111, but 106 degrees for most of it. All right, so it is Hilti's turn. LT's battery is at three bars. You gotta admit this, for the low amp hours that they that these are, they're doing a lot of work. You gotta you gotta admit that. Alright, so ready? Go. Then the six. And the eight. Then the ten. Right, so the ooh, that actually. All right, so the final temperature of the Hilti, 
101, 114 degrees, 114 degrees. So not too bad, not too bad. Now, come on, you got to admit, I know this is why I do these tests because this puts them to the extreme. You usually would use impact wrenches for this, but impact drivers are able to do it. But I'm pretty sure if you do the, if you use these impact drivers for this all day, every day, these won't last as long as they should because they're majorly overworking, even though they're able to do it. So yeah, impact wrenches are ideal to do these big lags. You use an impact wrench for this. But they were able to do it. I do not know what the results are. Yeah, I find that out during the edit of the video. I do feel that the Milwaukee did a little faster job. But the reality is, is they both were able to do it easily. They both were able to do it easily. Neither of them struggled. And so, yeah. Uh, so when it comes to temperature, they pretty much got the same temperature. And yes, the, believe it or not, the Hilti impact driver is actually a little cheaper than the Milwaukee. I'll put the prices between them two right now. When it comes to tool only, uh, I'm going to make a video on why Hilti is so expensive compared to other brands, compared to every other brand besides the Metabo and Festool. And so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but like I said in the beginning of the video, which one do I think would last longer out on the job site? I think the Hilti would. The Hilti is just made, flat out made, made with better materials, stronger materials than, uh, than the Milwaukee uh than the Milwaukee brand is. Now, like I said, I'm a part of a lot of Facebook groups where they show tools being broken left and right. Hilti, I'm a part of a Hilti group, and they actually don't have that many videos of tools being broken. You know, they have like old 15, 20 year old tools still that work like they're brand new still. So like I said, Hilti has a 20 year warranty. 20 year warranty, most tool brands have three to five. Hilti has 20 which is crazy and also plenty of videos coming up you guys this is like i said this is just the beginning of the channel and i hope you guys seriously love these videos so if you found this video useful please like this video and please uh, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is david nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time